Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Outer Plane. Um, so, I have a few videos that I wanted to release yesterday, but I couldn't because, um, I don't know, everyone, I looked online and apparently it's a problem that everyone's been having, um, who has the HP Victus computer, because that's the one that I got, um, yeah, the Wi-Fi card is not good, so I just kind of like reset the driver and it, it works better, I guess, now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just did, did, did not want to connect to the Wi-Fi at all yesterday, and I was kind of sad because I was not able to record. But um, it's working now, so hey, did some research and I found out what the problem was. Okay. So today's content is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do Kate's workshop. Um, it's kind of a very, a very short video. Um, well, I can do that and then I can do some more content, but there's really nothing else to show. I mean, yeah, I guess we can do equipment just overall. Okay, so um, yeah, so today we're doing Kate's workshop and my inventory so if you don't want to see any of that see you later <laughs> okay so um, Kate's workshop very interesting so this is again where you can craft armor um, and you can get legendary guaranteed armor if you have the right amount I do for these two um, so for this one I guess we just we could do life I think I already did enough life sets Life steal seems really cool. Let's do one life steal. So this is the helmet. You have to Strike look up here. So this is how it works, right? So you choose which rarity of star that you want. Which not rare? Yeah, I guess no, not rarity because rarity would be legendary, epic, superior. Um, which star? I guess star rating. So five, six. Um, so that that's what you're gonna be choosing the the basic thing of right. That's that's how much materials consumed is the quality basically increases the amount of material that it consumes to make that type of equipment, um, which is cool. It's not a lot. It's like a, a very small increase. So I like that. That's the cool part. The problem is that you get to needing this, which is after stage eight, I believe, of all of the um, special request ecology study and identification study as well um, or identification request ecology study identification request so you kind of have to go a little bit more late game before you can craft um, five star and six star gear which is fine um, I think it doesn't really matter because you get enough five star and six star gear from like just random stuff so here let's go check that out because I have to show you that as well just to show you where you get stuff um, they changed where you go to actually see it again so I think uh, not here but where was it yes here nope that's not what I was looking for where was it It's like the, um, not the survey hub, but you get rewards. Oh, I think it's here, right? Yeah, so the guide quest. So these two quests, um, just like completing stuff, right? You get five-star gear and accessories and weapons. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> They're also legendary as well. So you kind of basically get some of the best equipment just by playing story mode. Um, doing some stuff, of course, it's later game stuff, but even before then, it's like normal equipment. Um, so yeah, you don't really get six star gear, but you do get a lot of legendary stuff. So it's like it's really not that hard. And then yeah, here as well, I'm not even there yet. You get a decent amount of either as well. They give you some more potentium and then transit stone. Um, so yeah, that, there's some other currencies we have to talk about. So these are like late game currencies that, well, you can pretty much just buy your way to get them. <laughs> uh, you do have to play though for some, 
like there are some ways that you even if you do spend money you have to play a decent amount in the game in order to collect it so um do keep that in mind but um i don't think you can get it from like achievements and stuff so yeah so the guide quest is that's where you can get just equipment in general um of course in the base there is the like the little pawn shop where you can buy sometimes there's legendary equipment there um in the shop i guess the resource shop itself if you go to the resource shop there's always stuff here to buy um super useful super helpful for your account uh actually let's just uh, do this real quick <laughs> oh I, just, I still have some more Ooh, okay so yeah it's like you kind of just have to look around but it's there and then this one has a decent amount as well actually now that i'm here oh wait no because it's 10 right yeah i need one more piece of my um in order to get veronica to five star which i don't want to just do another story because then it's three pieces but I, i'm just being stingy at this point i'm being <laughs> i'm just being petty um okay so what are the places you get the gear so resource shop the guide quest Alpha and um, whatever her name is. You can't really get it through missions. You can get it through um, the guild. I believe there's some equipment you can get through the guild. Or there's like the boxes you can get. So. Um, you get an accessory. So you can buy them. Like I, I have enough to get one of these. But it's a 1 through 6 star. It's like not very good. <laughs> this one is, uh, yeah, they're, they're not very good. So I, I just would not. I would rather get the skill manuals. Like pretty much only spend my like currencies on the skill manuals. Because I there's so many characters and they keep just adding new ones every two weeks. Every two to three weeks. So I need to, um, you know, keep up with the amount of skill manuals. Especially if I'm trying to keep the account uh, grinding. But uh, yeah, this one is better, but it's still 4 star to 6 star, and it's like, eh, it is guaranteed, uh, no, it's epic legendary, so it's not even guaranteed legendary, that's that's sad. Uh, yeah, so just like, not a good place to, <laughs> this, this is why I don't remember it being in here, because I never actually used my currencies for these. Um, okay, yeah, and then adventure, obviously, um, so not just the guide quests but the actual like battles themselves sometimes you get uh like i know these are something else but uh none of these are equipment it's some of them some of them yeah okay here so this one gives you equipment five star epic equipment is still very good um six star would obviously be the best um and then obviously if you're going for the best equipment it'd be six star legendary so yeah you get it from here as well. Uh, another thing that I wanted to... So I've been saving up these points so that I can buy something with all of you watching. Or just like, you know. So y'all can see it. You can get 5 star legendary equipment here. I don't need any of this because it's only speed or attack. I would only get the speed. Because speed is 5 star legendary speed equipment is godsend. It's, it's just one tier below six star legendary because it can be the stats are a little bit um beefier but it's like it doesn't really matter it's like pretty much very close um and obviously six star legendary is the best but uh yeah so there's season two which i didn't even see was the thing so i can get like four legendary skill manuals and just like go ham on the skills i could get at Epic quality presents. Interesting. Oh wait, these are so cheap. Oh wow. Okay, I can get reforged catalyst as well. So this is just a good place. That another thing I'm gonna talk about in this video. I said this video was gonna be short. I think it's gonna be long. <laughs> I think it's still gonna be 30 minutes. But because there's so much stuff to talk about, there's also refined glue night. So um, yeah, there's the hammers, but those don't really matter. You kind of just collect them by playing. Um, you don't really have to go out of your way to collect those. Um, yes, these are pretty 
hard to get the legendary reforge catalyst because you have to sacrifice some legendary equipment and um you know sometimes you want to keep it especially if it's good equipment and i mean that's pretty much it it's like that's really the only way to get it <laughs> you have to break it down um so here you get to select critical damage some main stats and substats okay so they're not like the best this one has speed though so that you get at least some like oh two of them with speed yeah they they pretty much uh make it really balanced which is nice okay so decent amount of speed so three of them with speed four of them okay yeah no no this is nice so so boots armor helmet gloves as well with speed Okay, yeah, so you can choose, and then obviously there's the weapon, and then accessory. I kind of want to do accessory, but these are expensive, right? These are 1,350. These are only 750, so I could get like two of these, and then um, go in on some epic quality presents, because I want to get some uh, experience into my Rona, so I can get her exclusive equipment as well. Because um, it gives her 40 speed and 20 damage. It's like, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> It, it's also going to make her like the best tank for water content because she's going to take 20% reduced damage. I just give her a ton of defense or health um, gems or whatever they're called. The little gems that you put onto the uh, exclusive equipment, the special the special gear. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So I think we will go... Oh yeah, and I realized that's why it's not on these two because these are accessories and weapons. I could go weapon though. Mm. Just like have the chance to revive <laughs> on like a um a Tio or a Siron or a or a uh, what's her name? Mene. So they just like revive and then they revive everyone else. That's hilarious. It's basically a Cecilia. For anyone who has played this light. Um I mean, was it an accessory? So here's the thing. Okay, before before we choose it, um, sorry I'm taking so long for this. I'm gonna stop blue bowling. Where did I see it? All oh, right, I went too far. So here, and then we go to. Was it a weapon or an accessory? Was it one of these? Fifty chance to reduce AP of the target but when attacking. Oh my god, for AoE, that's disgusting. 50% chance for AoE, you hit multiple times, 50% chance when attacking. That Oh no, it's only when attacking, so it's just a one-time one, one, one -time trigger. Still, that's insane. Okay, 30% is also killed on using a basic... What? Uh, okay. I mean, it's still only 30% chance, but still, you use this, and then you put it on, uh, what's her name? Oh, you put this on, uh, Charlotte, because she also has her cooldown reduction for her ultimate on her basic. Now you're reducing the cooldowns of everything on your basic. Not just that, or you have a chance for both. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. Oh my god. Creature Dale damage basic attacks, soothing burst. That's pretty good. 50% chance to grind extra turn when using singles. Oh, 6% though, that's nothing. It is like you can trigger very often, but 6% is like nothing. So, <laughs> increases damage dealt by 15%. Okay, barrier critical damage. Which one is the one that revives you? <laughs> increases damage dealt in PvP content by 20%. There's there is one that revives you, I know there is one. 5% increase the healing received by allies. Oh wow, actually that's really good for healers. Oh, that I think I should just get that one for um many, because then I just solidify her as the best healer on my entire team. Reduces the speed of the wheeler by 30% and reduces damage taken, increases counter attack chance proportion to missing health. Hmm. I mean, you could put it on a really, like, slow... No, you, you kind of want to put on a character with a decent amount of speed so that they're not just, like, not... You know, not taking a single turn. <laughs> Wait, 15% chance to flick stun one time. Well, 
Wait, when using a non-attack skill? 50% chance to increase the speed of the wielder for one turn using a non-attack skill? Oh my god. That's really good on Valentine. She's always going to use her, <laughs> her, se her second skill and she gains an extra turn anyway. So she's going to... Okay, that's... Because then that just makes her the fastest character on your team. Solidified. Okay, that's stupid. I'm still looking for the decreases. Builder's buff duration when it takes action. No, no. Okay. So it, it's one of these. I know. It's a it's an equipment or weapon, and it basically just revives you. So these ones priority. These. Priority attack overdrive. No, so none of, are, am I like tripping or something? I'm pretty sure it was in. Is that just part of her like passive or something? Oh no, it's this one. Oh my god, that took forever to find. 50% chance to resurrect and heal for 15% of max health when killed. This is what I was looking for. Okay, well, let me see if it even lets me choose it. So let's go back. So we have. Ah, shit. I, I messed up. I forgot whether it was a weapon. No, no, it was. It was a accessory or a weapon. It's all the way at the bottom, right? Okay. No. So it's the ice. The ice queen. Okay, it's an accessory. Okay, okay. Okay, got it now. Accessory, accessory. So we go here, we go here. And then I only have 600. Hmm. But I can get through these. So I'm okay with that. And I'll save the rest so that I can get some... Uh, you only get it once. That's the thing. That's why when I bought the equipment here, it's gone. You only get it once. But... Like, you get to choose. So let's see what it gives us, right? Do I have to um, go here to find it, or is it going to already... Oh, no. I'm going to collect this real quick. Don't mind me. It just takes forever to collect these. I wish there was, like, a receive all button. Um, obviously, you want to save the stamina, so you're not just using it if you don't have to. But it's good to use it sometimes. Okay. What are you? Okay, so we do this, and we... Oh, it's epic. That's always so cheap. Well, we go natural objects, so we go... None of those. Okay, we go for the resurrection token. Here we go. Hmm. Should we go for that? No, because the healer healing thing was better, right? He was for 15% of max health when dodging it. Oh, wow. We can remove a debuff. That sounds pretty good, actually. I don't know. The resurrection token just sounds stupid. Because you die and then you just come back. <laughs> and you're just like, alright, let me heal everybody. And they're all 50% penetration, and then this one just counterattack. Yeah, I think we just go for the resurrection token. Like, it just sounds really cool. I just want it. I have a decent amount of other stuff, and I. Well, I guess I can't always go back, but. <laughs> it's like a monthly thing, I think. You can only get them, but. Hey, that's fine by me. We did get a lifesteal, so. Okay. We'll go back to the forge because that's pretty much where most of it is. The inventory, I don't really have much to talk about here. Like, I've just been upgrading stuff on characters that I'm actually using. So, yeah. Like, that's pretty much it. I've been switching some gear around too because, again, I'm not using, like, 
a third, like not even a third, like seventy percent of the rare or the three star characters that I've gotten. So <laughs> most of them are not past four star. That's why. But um, even the four stars, some of the four stars I haven't been using as much. But uh, I've been getting around to them. So yeah. Okay, so now we have this, so I'm going to enhance that, obviously, oh wait, it's already enhanced, okay, so 40 p plus speed, wait, that is dumb, why, <laughs> why, what gear do you have, oh my god, yeah, I'm giving you the uh, resurrection token, <laughs> like what? Okay, uh, and then we have to do the breakthrough thing, right? So uh, let's go back to the forge or the K torch shop, whatever it's called. Also, I didn't mean the little punch up; I meant the supply module. Same, same thing. Okay, so what am I going to do? Craft weapons, craft consume. No, no, I want to talk about that later. Yeah, there's. This craft weapons and accessories. So I have this. So we could just get a six star legendary weapon. What are the things? Scorching. Damage single attacks. I don't know, these are some bad, <laughs> these are some bad things. Yeah, Medios is probably not the best one to go with. I mean, we do get a legendary guarantee, but it's like, uh, it's just like they're not that good, so I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe the accessories are better? I think so. Counterattack, penetration, hit, increases the perp when enemies defeated, attacks, third battle, car health. Ooh, wait, Consecration. Well, Accessory. And then the Abrasive should let me choose the um, Consecration, right? So we go Legendary Guaranteed. What? I mean, I guess we can go Health. Wait, but I want this one. I want that one. I don't think this is going to give me what I want, but we're going to try it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to give you a random one. 50% chance, yep. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest either. I thought I was able to use an abrasive. Wait. Not abrasive. What's the... uh? I guess you can't use the, um, whatever they're called. Sorry, I'm just, my ears are itchy. Um, what are they called? Potentium, why can't you use that? You can, wait, no, it's the same thing here, though. You can just choose the set, though. Like, there's four sets, you choose from the four. So we go here, there's five, okay, so there's five of them, and there's only four here. Do they just not let you get the fucking consecration? That is so stupid. They're like, oh yeah, let's just not let them get the best item in the game. Well, we know why it has 3.7 stars on the <laughs> Play Store. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> okay. Uh, I mean, that that just makes no sense. Like, what in the actual fuck? I, I don't, I literally don't need any of these. Like, oh, uh, you just have to get lucky, I guess. Yeah, you just get the freaking penetration one. It's like, it doesn't help. I don't need the one that gives me penetration. I need the consecration one. Alright, well. Try, try if you don't see it. Third time's a charm, please. 
Okay, yeah, uh, life hate to me. <laughs> Who's it for anyway? Healer. Right, okay, yeah, so it seems like we're not gonna get it. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for like equipment stuff. Like, that's pretty much what you do for all of them, it's just different materials, and you just do the stage eights for all the bosses for the ecology study. Uh, okay, moving on very quickly to kind of wrap up the video, we have seals which are used to make the potentium for the armor and it's pretty much the same thing but with tokens for potentium for weapons and accessories yeah it's like a week you get a week to craft one of each so it i don't know why they put caps but it's the stupidest shit i've ever seen um same thing you can do it for <laughs> transit stones for individual in total but it's a monthly and you only get two per month so two every week so generous oh they are right uh, you can get abrasive here you can get legendary abrasive which is what I would go for anyway as well as catalyst and clear ticket which is what I'm gonna be doing in a second is getting a ton of reforged catalyst with the antimatter since I'm not using it anymore um, exchange seals here you can you know change them up however you need to I don't know how I got these water ones, but I think it's from doing the um, stage 11 and 12 for like all the boss battles and stuff for the uh, for the actual boss battles. Okay, um, I think that was the tyrant one that we did, tyrant toddler. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with these. Okay, so now we do this. Oh, wait, no, no, I don't want that. I want this. Let me just do this. And it's like 17, right? Or something like that? Yeah. It's perfect. I don't need these antimatter, so I'm going to get a ton of these reforge. And it'll be nice. Okay. Oh, I can do a few more. I, I don't really use it for anything. Literally nothing, so... It's just the um, supply module. Sometimes there's some, like the gifts that you can get that with the antimatter and some other, sometimes some other material. So you know it's nice, but I don't really need it. I definitely need this reforged catalyst a lot more. Super useful for you. I want to use the hammers because uh, again you can use them for upgrading your equipment, so you don't have to sacrifice other equipment. But by all means, go ahead if you want to. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we can enhance our armor. So this is the last thing I will show you for this video and that's in my inventory. Just like what I do to like upgrade stuff. So counter attack, priority when killing an enemy. Yeah, basically all the ones we did not give up shit about. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna enhance this. We go breakthrough. Sorry, we go reforge, not breakthrough. Breakthrough, you need the um, stones, whatever they're called. Not the transit stones, but the other ones. So the reforge. Okay, I mean, this is fine. There's health, attack, accuracy, and crit chance. Uh, crit chance doesn't really matter. The attack is fine, the health is fine, and the accuracy, I guess, is decent, but it's not, like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, giving a lot of crit chance, so it's gonna be a healer with a lot of crit. <laughs> okay, the health and attack are both up. And accuracy as well. Okay, as long as it's not crit chance for the last one, I will be... Oh, okay, I don't have enough. Yeah, it increases every time, so you have to... Um, I can get 10 more. I mean, why not? Let me just do it. It gives Siren so much speed as well. You can put it on a uh, mene as well. I haven't done this, which I want to do. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> that's how you max out your gear. The last thing would be the reforge. Um, sorry, the breakthrough. But once it gets to T4, you're done. That's why there's a zero four here. And all it does is it levels up the actual ability. So this went from one to two. Increases damage dealt by 2% of the target's max health when attacking a single target. Um, 
But yeah, this is good. You can also use other equipment to like sacrifice. So interesting. I think it has to be similar though, right? Like, yeah, it has to be the same equipment, um, but like not broken through. And then, yeah, and then this is just like actual stats if you want to start changing stuff. But all right, I think that's it for the video. Yeah, so inventory stuff out of forge equipment, all of the different, you know, stuff you can get. All the currencies, I guess I can call it, that's the best word, but there's just, like, so much stuff. It's, like, it's kind of a currency, but it's more like, uh, like, items you're collecting. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this video, but, uh, yeah, gameplay coming soon. Um, yeah, as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video. One hundred and 84 subscribers last time I checked, so y'all are amazing. Keep going. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out, keeps you up to date my content. Yep, that's pretty much it. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.